Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Lizbeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty. I share vlogs, I share review videos, I share fashion videos, I share collection videos. And today I have a fashion video. I thought it'd be fun to share my five fall essentials that are affordable and timeless. It has finally reached colder temperatures here in SoCal. I got inspired to share my five must-haves. These are the items that I grab constantly. These are my favorite pieces. I've probably been grabbing these pieces for the past three to four years. So in my opinion, those have become timeless. They will keep you stylish and cozy all season long. They go with everything. They're polished, they're chic, they're cozy, and they have become my essentials. Now let's get into it. First must have our sweaters. I'm obsessed with the knit sweaters, chunky sweaters, and these are some of my favorites. And what's really fun is all of these besides one are thrifted. I love thrifting sweaters because they're gonna be really nice quality. They always tend to be more expensive and you are gonna get it for a really great price point. I also love the cut and fits of vintage pieces and they are just my go-to. So I'm all about chunky knits. I love cable knits. This one is actually cropped. There is an amazing vintage store in my hometown that actually crops sweaters. So here's a little inspo for you guys. If maybe you are petite like me and like something baggy and oversized, I actually just noticed there's a little stain on there. So excuse that, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but if you are petite like me, and you know how to sew or just go to your local tailor, they can crop it and take the waistband and shorten it. So it is so chic and polished and it goes with so much. I love styling it with jeans. I love a baggy jean situation as well, but it looks so cute with mini skirts. It looks so cute with trousers. A few good quality sweaters and versatile colors like beige, gray, or navy are amazing. I prefer classic styles like a crew neck. And I just find thrifted versions tend to be a great quality, great way to also add some cashmere into your wardrobe. I love cashmere. My go-tos are cotton and cashmere. Since I live in Southern California, it's really unnecessary to have wool. So hopefully you can adapt my fall essentials to whatever climate you're in, but cashmere is always an amazing must. Can be pricey, but I'm telling you guys, you can thrift these. Some of the best cashmere sweaters that I've had, well, I have to shout out my mom because this is her go-to. She loves thrifting cashmere sweaters and she finds amazing quality ones. And if there's moth holes, she literally just stitches it up. So be resourceful, I love that, but cashmere is a great option. Again, chunky knits. I think this one's acrylic but I do love acrylic. I can't do wools anyways because I have a bit of a sensitivity to it. Um, here's another great cropped option. Like I said, you can get really creative with it. This is Bill Blass menswear. So check the men's department as well. I just feel like they have great sweaters. I feel like it's more of, I really love the men's shape of sweaters and you can crop it and get it sewn like this one is cropped and sewn. But I love neutral colors. Like I said, cream and beiges and grays are my favorites. Here's another cute vintage one that I thrifted. It's a Christian Dior sweater. So cable knit, crew neck, those are my favorite. And I also love turtlenecks, like I mentioned. I feel like a zip up turtleneck is always a cute option. And then this is a newer one that I got this past season from one of my favorite small businesses called Prism. It's actually Rolas. I love Rolas. And this is a cute crop style. It's acrylic. It does have a little bit of wool, but this is like a newer style. I just wanted to show you guys the vibe so you guys can get some inspiration. But neutral colors cream and grays are my favorite I'm not the biggest black person <laughs> I don't love a lot of black colors although I'm wearing black but it's kind of like a vintage gray wash black um I don't love a jet jet black unless I'm going to be talking about faux leather or all right now let's talk about leather I do prefer faux leather when it comes to new pieces but a lot of pieces I do thrift tend to be real leather so depend on what depending on what your vibe is I know there's plenty of options out there but let's start with bottoms to me leather is as timeless as denim it goes with everything you go dressy you can go casual it's surprisingly very versatile I know it's bold but it's a good kind of bold where it elevates your outfit I feel like it makes me feel chic it makes me feel sexy it makes me feel cool and it's one of my favorites for fall and it's surprisingly cozy faux leather keeps you really warm and again i'm a socal native so it's just as cozy as sweats or leggings but it's just 
just more elevated and more chic. And my favorite place to shop for faux leather is actually Abercrombie because they are petite friendly and curve friendly. These are the 90 straight ultra high rise and I got the size 27, which is a size four and they're cropped. Well, they're actually just the perfect length for me, not necessarily cropped, but cropped for others. And they have so many different faux leather pieces, so many different styles. I know a lot of people love Aritzia, but I find Aritzia to be a bit overpriced and I know Abercrombie can but I've had these for almost two or three years I love these they're my go-to I actually also have them in a chocolate brown which is fun it's definitely neutral and cool and I feel like a little bit more feminine or chic in my opinion but black is just my go-to it's edgy it's cool it's fun but yeah these are the same pants but in different colors I know they have a cream now which is cool and again, they pair so well with knit sweaters. Just looks so chic together, so polished, so easy. You thrift a sweater, you invest in a faux leather pant. My favorite is Abercrombie, like I said. I also have a pair of shorts. These are a great pair of tailored shorts. Very flattering. They look so cute with tights. Can wear them with knee-high boots. Just very chic. Love, love, love these. And again, Abercrombie has really great faux leather options, which they refer to as vegan leather. Um, but just a very flattering, longer short, not too long, not too short. Um, I think they're just a really nice piece that you could dress up, dress down so well to elevate a casual outfit while also being kind of cozy. So I love this. So these are bottoms that I love. And now let's go into jackets. Jackets. This is a really fun style that I'm into right now. It's very 90s. This is actually thrifted. I thrifted it for 15 bucks. I've been wearing it, but this is a nice kind of like 90 style that's trending right now, but very classic, versatile. It's Isaac Mizrahi for Target, but this is one of my favorite pieces. And I love wearing leather on leather. I think it looks really cool. This was one that I picked up last year, brown oversized leather jacket, super timeless super vibey it's super oversized i love wearing oversized pieces i know not everybody does especially if you're petite but this one i scored off etsy again i love secondhand that is where you can really find affordable pieces and it's just a great way to save some money but get quality items so this is men's i do want to find one that's a little bit more fitted and shorter i've been really into more tailored pieces right now but oversized is always my go-to two other jacket options this would be more in my winter must-haves but if it's colder where you're at i wanted to throw something in that might pique your interest but you could get a puffer which i absolutely love this one is good american again there's so many brands that do vegan faux leather they're great but I really really love this and it's really great quality it's perfect for my petite waist because I am short torsoed and it's just so chic so little winter must-have if you want to see a winter must-have for me which again I live in SoCal so it's not going to be super uh I guess accurate but hopefully brings you inspo and for us <laughs> SoCal girlies uh just some style inspo and how I like to keep cozy when it's colder um, but hopefully it'll inspire you if you're not in SoCal. And then my next favorite piece is this trench coat. I think this is such a fun piece to have. It dresses a night out outfit so well. It elevates a t-shirt and jeans so well. It is my go-to. I've had this for almost three years. I picked it up from Amazon and it's just a fun, fun piece. And again, faux leather, but this is going to segue me into my next fall essential and those are trench coats and I love having I love having different styles different versions but I love 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 a faux leather piece I mentioned I'm not really into black pieces but when it comes to outerwear I do love it I just love the texture I am tan I have black hair and I feel like it pops more when it's a different texture I just prefer it I prefer black pieces and like unique pieces than I do so much like a t-shirt this is a cropped one this is actually a London fog one this was thrifted it's cropped because because I actually sell fun vintage items in my online store and this was a drop from a few years ago I had it cropped and London Fog is one of the top top trench coat brands so again thrift 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 these you can find really great quality pieces they're just as quality as Burberry trench coats um, but this is like OG and I had this one cropped but to me trench coats are timeless and they elevate any outfit. I prefer camel when it comes to trenches. I just feel like it's so, so classic, but 
Again, you can find one that is cropped, which if you're petite looks cute, it looks cute on any body type in my opinion, um, but they're normally long. And again, check the thrift store. This is really nice. It has a wool insert that is removable, but because I cropped it, it can't be removed, but that's okay. Uh, another option, this was an affordable one for a SoCal girlies. This is a lot lighter and more breathable and this is from nasty gal and i love how oversized it is because it layers a knit like a chunky knit sweater underneath so well without feeling tight so i prefer going oversized with my trench coach just so i can layer in a knit sweater if i want something chunky or baggy and it doesn't look too fitted or tight on my shoulders but this one is one i've had for years they're still available online and it's two-toned so it has this like darker camel and then it's a lighter color which i don't know if you can see the color difference and it's a great, great, great one that goes, whereas it pairs well all season long, like I said, it's SoCal native. And then this was another secondhand purchase. This one's from Depop and it has a wool insert, which is nice. And it's actually petite length. So it's the perfect fit for me. I love this olive color. It's really chic, it's really elevated. I get so many compliments when I rock this really nice, heavier weight but also breathable when i take out the insert for socal weather um, but it just again elevates any outfit great with faux leather pants great with jeans great with dresses it is such a must have for me next must have for me are boots i'm boot obsessed one of my favorite pieces of footwear to have I'm gonna start out with the oldest pair in my collection. These are from Nasty Gal. They look so luxe and chic, insanely comfortable. I bought them for like 24 bucks. Has this nice chunky heel. I love a chunky heel. I love the square toe. You can see I wear them often or worn them a lot because they are kind of, uh, I don't know, scratching. There's a lot of scuffs at the toe. Um, but I have two pairs of these because I love them. Franco Sorta makes a really nice pair that is leather that I have in brown and black, but love a pair of neutral colored boots. I'm more of a blacks and browns girly. I do have a really beautiful wine color pair of naturalizers that I'm going to talk about, um, but I love a chunky square toe ankle boot. And then I'm going to go into a pointed toe knee high. Very classic, very 90s, 2000s vibe. Um, one thing I love about naturalizer are the heels I love the heel but it's so comfortable this is something that you could transition from day to night these boots can transition from day to night really nicely but if that is too high of a heel or too chunky this is a really great boot I have these in wine color like I mentioned recently got them this fall in black which is timeless and insanely insanely comfortable one of my favorite boot companies is hands down naturalizer curvy you have thick calves or thighs like I do, which I surprisingly do, even though I'm petite, these fit so nicely and I love them. So they're very size inclusive and I love this style. And then I just added this beautiful chocolate brown color. These are suede. Highly recommend you guys using a per leather protectant on your boots. It just helps with the weather that you'll get in the colder months. Um, but I do love suede. I know some people are nervous about suede, but the great thing about it is you can just brush out any scuffs or stains. And then last but not least, which I'm sure some of you guys are going to be a little bit disappointed, but it is one of my must-haves, a long sleeve shirt. This one is my absolute favorite from Skims. It is so flattering. It's thin, so it layers so well, especially if you are in colder weather and you need some layering pieces. It's one of my favorite pieces. I think it's worthwhile to invest in staple pieces like this because of the wash and wear. I know we all have our own thoughts and ways of purchasing white t-shirts, but I prefer investing in a nice quality one. My only ones that I absolutely love are Skims. I have it in a short sleeve top, but I do love a nice long sleeve because when it gets colder, this becomes my go-to white tee. It layers so well under sweaters like cashmere and knit sweaters that are more fitted, but it layers so nicely under chunkier pieces or jackets, or blazers. It's an essential, it comes in different colors, one of my must have. So it is white and thin, I highly recommend getting a Skims bra that matches your skin tone because it is seamless, you can't see your bra. So if you're worried about white, just get a really nice nude bra that matches your skin tone, you'll be good. 
And yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And again, these are my fall essentials. You can thrift these. I will link some affordable options below. If you have any requests on other essential fashion videos, let me know. And, and I will let you go and catch my next video. Bye.